Forehead check. Forehead check. Fucking huge. Oh my god. Alright, anyway. Hello and welcome to the channel, boys. Today we're going to be doing today. This isn't a today thing. This is a forever lasting thing. This is my journey into becoming a pro or my attempt to becoming a pro. You see, I have around, what, $1,500 in earnings in this game. However, I've never actually taken this game seriously in terms of improving my mechanics, improving my building and improving my game awareness. I kind of just played the game competitively. However, now going through a self-improvement phase, I've realized that becoming a competitive pro is actually a lot simpler than people make it out to be. So I want to prove my theory by you know doing the things that i've learned on the self-improvement journey and putting it into a competitive game format such as fortnite and this way if i record it and show you my journey along the way and i do actually become a pro you can trust what i'm saying because i'm starting off relatively probably near enough the same skill level as you i've got decent mechanics decent aim and overall just a decent player so in the future if i ever do become you know a top class player or a t1 pro you guys will know that i wasn't just blessed i wasn't just blessed with the these gaming skills I was actually I actually put in the work and I did certain things and you can copy those same things and you know become a better player as yourself in this video I'm not actually going to be playing a ranked game however I would recommend playing ranked consistently every single day I'm playing at least a couple matches just to you know get a feel for the average player uh but yeah we're just gonna play a game so then we can uh, get some kills and we can just talk about the things that I'm doing currently so then if you guys want to take those and start applying them to your game then well you can I'm gonna be making these videos pretty consistently aka I'm pretty sure daily I'm I'm going to be making these videos so you can always come back here and see the new thing that i've learned I, I want to be able to teach you something that i've learned every single day or at least give you guidance as to what you should be doing in certain scenarios if i find it if i find something that would probably be helpful to you so we're probably going to line tilt it because obviously the kids in here aren't actually real human beings fun fact I'll, I'll be very honest with you here's something that i recently just got all right i recently just got a pillow for my seat and I'll explain why I got it. Let me jump. Yeah. So I recently got a pillow for my seat. And the reason why I got a pillow for my seat, the reason why is because of a height thing. Now let me explain. When I'm sitting on my desk, and I have my arm moving my mouse. I want to have it so it's just above, like my arm drops, like the, the point of where my elbow ends is just above uh, my mouse pad. So then that way my aim is like, I'm not reaching up to the desk in order to, you know, grab the mouse. Because that way it would it would make it way more harder to move. And so if you, are, if you are currently having to do that in your setup, I'd highly recommend either buying a new desk or alternatively getting a new chair or even better, maybe even getting, I wouldn't say even better, probably be better to get a chair. But I would recommend you get something like a pillow because well, one, it's comfortable and two, it's it's a good way to um, improve your sitting height. So yeah, uh, in this game, we're just gonna be pushing everyone. We're also back in OG Fortnite, which is always a, a fun time, you feel me? You can never hate OG Fortnite. I wonder what they're gonna do next season. I mean, everyone's enjoying the season right now, so probably not much as of right now. However, you know, what am I talking about? Everyone's enjoying OG Fortnite right now, so they're probably not gonna mess anything up right now. Now, there's a kid in this building. Alright, just gonna quickly loot up. I haven't found a pump shotgun, which is quite annoying. Ooh. I will take an AR. Yeah, no pump though, which is a bit annoying, but yeah. I want to see what they're going to do for the next season though, because obviously they're trying to, well, with this, they're trying to retain as many people as they can. That's why they've pushed out OG Fortnite. At least I'm pretty sure that's why they pushed out. They're trying to get as many people as they can in order to, you know, one, make the tournament a bit better, and two, just to bring more active players back to the game, because obviously, well, if OG Fortnite's ever going to come back, why would you not play it? It was literally the game. And I'm pretty sure that's an undisputed fact. Like, for, I don't think there will ever be another game like Fortnite. But, I, oh, this kid just left. Probably had to get off. Probably had to go to school or something. Unlucky, bro. My Premiere Pro is actually running. Let me quickly turn that off. Alright, we're good. Can't tell if this is a real player or not. Well, I'm actually sure right now. 
No troll, I'm actually shit. I did just come back from the gym, so please don't go too harsh on me. Okay. Dot was literally on him, but okay, we gooch. And that's just proof I need to um, hit the Kovacs a bit more. I actually am going to be hitting Kovacs off. Oh, a skull, nice. I am going to be hitting Kovacs after this because, well, I think it's important to train my aim. And just doing the things that you know you should be doing. Like, everyone knows. If you're playing competitive and you're genuinely trying to get better, everybody knows you should be aim training. Why is everyone just leaving? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, we'll take a sniper, actually. I, I like snipers. Okay, there's a kid. What the fuck? We'll drop a grappler. But yeah, realistically, becoming better at Fortnite isn't really a case of, like, doing insane things. It's genuinely the simplest form, in my opinion, in my belief, is doing the things you know you should be doing and actually doing them. And that's pretty much the same with everything. That's what I've learned from self-improvement, just in general. If you want to get... Let me, let me put it this way. If you want to get a shredded body, right? What are the things you know you should do? You, you know you should go to the gym. You know you should get more protein to get more muscle. And you go to the gym to, you know, train those muscles. And if you're fat, you want to eat less in the basic terms. And if you're skinny, you want to eat more. That's the basic simple... That's the basic simple shit. If you just do that, I can guarantee to you, you will make a significant amount of progress compared to everyone else and you will become a very top tier athlete you'll be in the one percent right you just need to actually do those things and well stay consistent and that's the thing with majority of uh people in the world they don't stay consistent with those one things those uh those minimal simple basic things the things are simple but they're not easy it's very difficult to stay consistent with kovacs that's why most people just well don't improve their aim they never stay consistent And so in order to actually become a better Fortnite player, in the simplest terms, all you have to really do is do the basics. Learn from the pros, learn, learn some skills from the pros, see what majority of them are doing, and then use what they're doing in your game. And train the things that they do. So if, for example, if they have really good edits, start training your edits, which is something I'm going to be doing as well. Obviously, I'm not gonna be showcasing everything I do in all of these videos. I might have videos every now and then where I just, you know, I run you through uh, a course that I'm doing. By course, I mean like an edit course or like uh, edit training stuff. But I won't be uploading uh, those types of videos every single day. I mean, if you guys want to see that then sure i will but in order to get these out consistently i just want to be able to talk to you while i play some gameplay for you guys to understand like what i am doing and what you sh i'm not going to say what you should be doing but like what i would suggest in my humble opinion can we just talk about the fact that i've just shit on both of these kids and i haven't gotten a single head dick how fucking pathetic is that this game sucks ass now these aren't real players but at the same time like bro i've actually just shit on them and no one's gonna even i'm not gonna get a Oh, kid. Watch, I bet you I get another one. Make it a 3 P. Oh, there's no fucking shot. I don't hit this. Oh, your mother. Oh. Brother, what are you doing? That could have been bad. Not gonna lie, that could have been bad. My aim is definitely very wobbly, not gonna lie though. I also need to work on my awareness because my awareness in this game right now is dreadful. One, because I can barely hear anything. I don't know if that's the new season, but I used to be able to hear stuff. Now I'm just like a bit of a fart. And two, genuinely just because I'm quite an unaware player or I usually was in the past. So now, again, I'm fixing that. And now realistically, I'm very aware of the fact that like awareness and shit just comes from one, playing games. By playing games, I mean like playing... um competitive scrims and stuff like that and two just you know learning what to hear because i don't think this this um what's it called the actual visual visuals do much i mean you obviously see those footprints but i'm talking like when you're in the midst of the fight no one's looking at the fucking footprints are they you're looking at the fucking what's it called you're you're not looking you're hearing you're listening to the sound you're listening to the the footsteps around you you're listening to the gunshots where where the guy's moving etc you're not you're not looking i mean unless you're deaf like that one fortnite player back in the day i forgot her name i think it's a he now actually i think she um she he uh transitioned into becoming a guy but that's that's for a different that's for a different time i forgot his name though all right
I've wasted too many mats just building for nothing. Anyway, let's go look for some kids to kill. Get this video over and done with. Now, something I've also recently just done that I would love to um, talk about is how I've recently just changed my binds. And I think the importance of having good binds is very neglected. Like, I'm talking very neglected. Having a good bind, like... Wait. Okay, this kid has to be a drone. There's no way. He's, he's built up way too quick. Yeah. Roy Priman Ultra. Has to be a drone. There's no way. No mats, no nothing. Okay, bud. Yeah, you're real. Oh, long. Yeah, I think the importance of having um, good binds is very underrated. Like, seriously underrated. If you have good binds, like binds that you can tap too quickly, and not only that, binds that you can, like, confidently press every single time and, like, you know, get the do the right thing at the exact right time because your binds are so, like, efficiently placed, I think that's really a game-breaker for whether or not you, you do well in this game. If you have shit binds, there's very limited you can do. And by shit binds, shit binds doesn't mean that, like, I don't know, let's grab it. What I mean by shit binds isn't whether or not you have your fucking, I don't know, your shotgun on enter. I'm talking about binds that are like awkward to press when you're pressing something else that's like valuable. So like, say example, if you can't pull out your shotgun after an edit, like if you can't do this, like you can't do that, that is really going to hinder you. If you struggle to press your shotgun directly after editing something, you are going to struggle. If you can't consistently pull out your SMG as you're about to pull out an edit, you're going to struggle. Like you need to be able to open spray if you need and then close. Which is why I think they're so underrated. Because if you're unable to do that, especially if you're not able to do that quickly, it's really going to hinder your gameplay. Don't tell me there's someone in here. Oh, a big. I can't take it, though. No, no. There's no fucking shot. Never mind. He's AI. Okay. Baited the fucking drop with an RPG. You're criminal as a player. Um... Are we gonna pop... Chug jug for 15 health, I think we are. Tell me what you think about the games, boys. Just hit biceps, bicep and back. It was a good day, it was a good day. He didn't have a grapple, did he? No. How many things were there, actually? Four? Fuck it, we're taking four. And he had a pad. Oh no, I think I just got like, on the drop. Uh, we'll take an RPG as well, fuck it. I think we basically have to pad now. Like, considering the fact we got a pad, we basically have to pad. There's only four players left, and I don't know where they are. We are in a, a bot lobby, so it should be pretty easy to secure the win. Do you guys see anyone? Why you guys can fucking answer. Oh, I see someone. Oh no, brother. Donny Mustard is disappointing with me. There you go. It was just because I was using the wrong bullets in the chip. I was just using the wrong bullets. As soon as I changed the bullets after reloading, I got them instantly. There has to be a kid here, right? Oh, there's not. There is just max loot here, though. Just a bit weird. Oh, grapple. Nice. Oh, good on. Oh, no, bud. Oh, no. Well, there's one dead. Oh, what are we going to do with the last kid? Do we trap him? Yeah, let's just trap him and get this done with. Okay, fine. Sign the contract, big boy. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you on another day in the journey. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to go subscribe down below because it helps the channel a ton. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. And well, yeah, leave a like if you liked. Comment down below um, what you're doing consistently on the daily and whether or not you're applying any of the things I said in this video. And well, yeah, see you in the next one.